Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. Happy Sunday to all of you. At least this is being recorded on Sunday. It will be uploaded on Sunday. Uh, today's the 23rd. Uh, a little 2 p.m. mail call. Saturday arrival boxes. Um, this will be a short video. Uh, yeah. Um, got two boxes in. Uh, one from West Coast Shaving and the other from um, Barrister and Man. So... Um, pretty cool today. I saw IMCDV uh, receive his mail call from me, and um, he got the Kaizen base uh, Sphinx beard. Um, if you guys are not a, a familiar, uh, Sphinx beard um, mainly known for their beard oils and really strong scents on the beard oils has gotten into shaving soaps and peter charcalis from aria and evans is uh providing the soaps um i'm not sure if he's the one making the sense or sphinx is making the sense and then you know peter just making it in his kaizen base but um i tried this one already it's called hawaiian pineapple it's really good i am cdb if you're watching um yeah, this is a really good soap. I think it'll be right up your alley. Uh, we have very similar scent profiles that we like. Uh, we like citrus, uh, aquatics, bright scents. So, um, kind of good um, for both of us, I guess, because I get some tips off, uh, tip offs on some scents I may not have, and uh, vice versa. So, anyway, uh, let's get cracking. So, let's do the first box in Barrister of Man. It's a smaller box, so. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing all well. Um, been doing a lot of mail calls lately. Uh, I went on a spending uh, spree. Uh, basically, I was up in LA for a week for work and you know, all days of meetings and dinners and all that. And I get back to the room tired and then um, I did some shopping. So uh, all that stuff has come, have, have come in. Um, in addition, a lot of the soap companies have been um, making some drops and um yeah so anyway i had a bunch of stuff that came in before um that i haven't done mail calls on but i have them already um so look for those reviews that i do i do very close-up reviews it's kind of like what i do niche niche it's not for everybody but excuse me um uh, some people want to see what the soap looks like and you know just the packaging and everything so that's kind of what i do um I will leave the shaving of the face to the professionals like Chris and, you know, DK and, and uh, the Stallion and everybody else um, who I follow and uh, Melly Mal and all them. So anyway, um, yeah, Barrister and Men. So in here we got, this is, seems to be wrapped really well. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, this is gonna spill. Wow, this is wrapped really well. Oh my. Okay, wow, look at this. Okay, folks. Uh, this is how you package. Look at the packaging from Barrister Man. Really, really, really nice job. I mean, this is top notch. Well done. Look at that. It is one wrapped in uh, paper. God, it reminds me of a parchment paper that the Japanese use uh, to steam fish and abalone and really fine seafood in. Um, they just add water, steam it, and then they open it up. Really, really nice. Um, huge uh, sticker on the front compromise nothing I like that so anyway, what I'm talking about here is you can see how they're wrapped um, really really nice presentation um, I don't even want to open up this um, sticker uh, it's only a sticker silky it's only a sticker Sometimes I get, yeah, take things too seriously. Okay, it's only a sticker. 
Um, okay, so open that up. Oh, I don't know if you guys I need to have a better way of doing these. Um, but yeah, they're all individually wrapped. Look at this. Just absolutely beautiful um, presentation. Um, kind of look like, you know, sandwiches or hamburgers also. Like, it's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, I'll put this one here on the side and we'll open one by one. I almost lost the bomb there. So this first one, I won't need a knife for that because it's... Basically, they have a really nice label there. Um, and this guy is... Um, Cologne Rus. And again, Barrister Man with the, just the epic labels on the side. And it has the, um, whatchamacallit, scents. So, Pettigrain, Violet, and Amber. Really, really beautiful label. Really, really nice. Um, I believe this is the matching bomb. Yep. Matching uh, aftershave bomb with jojoba and hyaluronic acid, which tends to be the trend nowadays um, in skincare products. Um, no, there's a lot of companies are putting that in there. All right, this one is Lavanil. Look at this absolutely beautiful um, artwork. God, who makes the artwork? Is that Raza? Is that Chicano? I'm not sure. Anyway, very, very beautiful. This happens to be lavender, vanilla, and earth. God, that's so beautiful. Folks, look at this. Look how beautiful this can is. And their base is really good too, so you know it's going to perform. So now it just comes down to the scent, whether or not we you like the scent or not. So anyway, aftershave bomb. Not a huge alcohol guy. I really think alcohol dries out the skin. Um, I think witch hazel is just better. Really, really, for me personally, I lean towards um, bombs. I just think they just make the skin feel much better. And this one is Lagrange Sharp Shipper Shiper. God, I don't, I don't even know how to say that. Citrus moss and resins. I saw this um, IMCDB uh, received that. I think he ordered that from the Razor Company. Um, so again, similar profiles. Um, and then their aftershave bomb. So anyway, that is from Barrister Man. Um, Truefit and Hill does some amazing packaging. If you order from them out of London, they have this really, really nicely well done. Um, I would say it's the best packaging. But Barrister Man, that is amazing. You guys saw that. I mean, the presentation is just outstanding. I mean, that is the product. And that's what I think a lot of people, I mean, not a lot of people, a lot of companies, because uh, I work in a corporate, I, I mean, I do sales for a very, very large company, global company um, that is in every single country um, except for China. Um, yeah, I mean, the product is everything, right? And the experience, interactions of a consumer like me with the product um, is such a big deal. Experience is everything. Experience is everything, folks. Um, if you have a positive experience with that brand, you're going to kind of revisit and you're going to start having a relationship with it right you're going to have a, this emotional tie you're going to have this um, idea and this standard um you can see this with some influencers and their favorites and you know like chris at imcdb has this personal collection uh, personal connection with sterling well deserved it too uh sterling um i got like 12 samples in earlier um really 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 great so um and um you saw shea 326 with uh um, with sebum gold, um, and you know, every you know, um, for me, it's Ariane and Evans. I really, you know, have a real personal connection with that brand. Um, 
but anyway, yeah, I mean, just absolutely beautiful uh, presentation. It just, wow, I'm, I'm blown away. Great job. Barrister Man. Wow. Really, really awesome. Really, really beautiful. Nice touch. Um, definitely did not go unnoticed. Um, in fact, I think sets the standard for um, American products. Uh, you know, Truth for the Hill is English and well established. You know, the oldest barbershop, right, in the world, Guinness Book of World Records. They have some time to have refined their brand and refined their um, their image, and um, and they had the sales for a long time, right? So someone like Barrister and Man, who is much smaller, is um, yeah, well done, well done. Anyway, let's go shaving. Um, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what a treat, folks. Oh, this is an epic, epic mail call. I forgot I ordered this. Oh, yeah. So happy. All right. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. This is going to be um, pretty epic. All right. All right, so Tabak, never tried Tabak, right? I'm new to the um, scene, never done it. Um, so Tabak cream. Oaken Lab out of Indonesia. God, I can never get this right. It's the, I can't, you can't see this. Oh, there we go. Sanctum. I'm not sure if you tried them. Um, I haven't seen much videos on Oaken Labs. And I don't know if it's because they're international and they're not like always in stock. But um, I saw it in one of the tag videos from someone on YouTube and they, you know, called it out as being like premiere and just like awesome. So. Well known for their scents. So anyway, I'm going to try this out. This one is Batavia Barber. Oaken Lab. This video is longer than I expected. But it's a, it's a treat. Earth of Mankind. Okay, that's the first layer. Now for the second layer. This is this box is full of um, peanuts. Hmm. See, Spice and Lime. This is what IMCDB has been raving about. The number one scent of lime. And I'm going to say true to myself. Because I do niche videos. And I do close-up pictures. And I do openings of scents. I, you know, I really want to open this up and smell it. Um, I'm not going to. I'm going to wait until I do the video on it. So He calls it the, the Statement Soap of 2021. It's a strong, strong um, um, characterization, which means that it's very good. Um, someone ex experiences IMCDB, but anyway. Uh, Declaration Grooming with Chatelon Lux. This is called Wine Stress. Wine Stress. So. Here in Hawaii, they won't ship, um, or a lot of companies won't ship alcohol-based um, products anyway, which I don't mind. Um, sometimes company um, brands would they don't have like a alcohol and a non-alcohol offering, um, so if there's no non-alcohol offering, I have to order that. If they'll ship it, sometimes I can't get the the aftershave because of that. So. 
this is the non-alcohol um, shaving balm for Stankum. And it looks like some of it came out. Hmm. Pressurization of air flown products across the Pacific. It will happen. Okay. Mm, this is an amazing scent. Sanctum. Next. This is Batavia Barber. Mm. Got a brush. I forget what kind of brush this is. Excuse me. Let's take a look. West Coast, Sh West Coast Shaving uh, Branding on the bottom. I believe this is a synthetic bulb. Nice brush. And we're almost to the finish line here, folks. Almost to the finish line. Hope you guys are just having a great week. Um, What some of the better soaps that you've tried recently? Um, or what is your favorite all-time soap? I guess maybe not all-time soap because that would be difficult, but... Man, what is your favorite brand? Um, I'm interested to hear what... You know, I found out about Oaken Oak Labs from someone in Europe in watching one of his videos. And, I can see why he likes it. That thing smells amazing. This is the toner for the Sea Fourth Sea Spice Lime non alcohol. Oh, I think that's it. Oh, no. Two things in here so aha uh -huh. so something that i was looking forward to trying la superior dolce tobacco so holy cow's cream um in their new sherbet base and then also another brush yeah west coast shaving synthetic staying true to what I've said you know like in one of my previous videos I pretty much said that you know I use pretty exclusively silver tip lather in the face not on the bowl um, I just prefer that it's just exfoliating and soft and yeah you live once man like enjoy like treat yourself treat your skin right um but i also have uh synthetics and sometimes i want to use synthetic and so picked up some some more synthetic brushes anyway that's it folks that is it uh we have um a ton of stuff coming in tomorrow um but today's one is pretty epic to be honest like there's some great brands here um Possibly the soap of 2021 so far. C4th. We'll see. We will see 
if it is what it is, uh, Oaken Labs, which has been out of stock for a long time, is back. It was back in stock. I'm not sure if it's out again, but I picked some up before uh, they went out. And um, looking forward to trying that. And of course, Barrister and Man with some pretty beautiful. I mean, oh, wow. I mean, setting the bar. Talk about setting the bar. Barrister and Man, great job. I mean, great job. Um, so anyway, we're going to wrap it up here at 20 minutes. It's long, but, um, yeah, we wanted to open and do a mail call and show you folks different products and, um, different things that, um, you may not get from other channels. And so again, I just do this for fun. I, 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 I don't think anybody does this. Um, and so some of you are not going to like it. Uh, some of you do. Um, and so anyway, um, that's all it is. It's just a hobby for me. So. Anyway, take care, everybody. Have a great week. It's the 23rd, last week of May, heading into June. Ooh, the summer months, which I hate. It gets hot. I like it. kind of like it cold. Um, I live here in Hawaii. Anyway, that's a whole different story. That's a whole new ballgame. It's a whole new Pandora's box that we'll get into later at some point. Anyway, take care. Um, yeah, I'm going to be traveling this week. going to be off-island. going to be on Maui in the Big Island. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna not be doing any videos, so I'm gonna do a video tomorrow, Monday. But I leave Tuesday morning, I'm gone all week, so uh, you won't see anything from me. Um, but I'll be working and I will come back and we'll do some uh, some mail calls and some get back to normal and do some um, in close uh, videos of products. So, anyway, 21 minutes and 40 seconds, we're gonna call it. Take care. Aloha. Make sure you treat each other nicely. Let's get along. Let's have a great life together. And um, we'll see you next time. Alright? Peace. Aloha. Take care.